If we look today, we've made it into the middle of the OECD countries in terms of per capita income. But if you analyze more carefully what's been happening, 60% of children in the Haredi and Arab community live on the poverty line. 45% of families in both these sectors live on the poverty line. We spend a third less on the education of children in both these communities than we do in the Jewish community. If we look at the Haredi community, it's become a closed community where education in liberal arts, including democracy, is inexistent. Do you know how many members of the Haredi community participate in university getting a first degree? 1,500. 1,500 out of 1 1.2 million people. And if we look at the Arab community, it shows a completely different picture. Our Arab citizens have gone from representing 10% of undergraduate students in 2010 today to representing 18.5%. As a total, our Arab citizens represent 22% of the population. We see an increase in employment in both sectors. We see a Haredi women now, 68% of them working versus 83% in the secular um, uh, part of our society. And within the Arab community, we see 32% of women now working from a much lower number a long time ago. And so we begin to realize that the state of Israel hasn't really worried about the society it's been building. We've devoted our resources, not enough of them. We only spend 20% or so, 21% of our gross national product a year as a government on services. It compares with 35% in the United States and 45% in Germany and 55% in countries like the Nordic countries. We have not invested in creating our society and this is the price we're paying now.